Hello guys, this is me Uzair Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel that name has lights designed together. So guys, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to change background of your simple subject, right? So without wasting any time, let's begin. Guys, you can see at my screen, I have simply taken the background, right? So now I have to go to the file and place embedded. Once I place embedded, so simply I will drag my photo. Here we go. Here I have this image. So now I have to make the background a little blurry. These are the tips, right? I have to make the background a little blurry and I have to match the background with that, right? So let's do it at first. Simply I will click on the tick mark, right? Once I take it and then simply I will go to the selection tool, right? Quick selection tool and then simply I will click on select subject once I click on select subject so here here are some words of uh, Photoshop right here it will select your photo right and now you can see it on my screen it has selected so simply I will now click on select and mask once I click on select and mask so here you can see the result from here I will change it to the overlay V right and simply uh, global refinements right so once I go to the global refinement I will the shift edge should be minus 100 or simply you can drag it from center to left right so here you can see minus 100 and simply hit ok once you hit ok so here you can see I have uh, I have successfully completed the side selections so simply I will click on the add layer mask button I have simply selected the image right so now I have to click on the original layer right and simply click on Control plus J once I click on Control plus J here I have duplicated the original layer and simply I will go I will put it at the top of that layer right so I have put it at the top of that layer simply I will have to go to filter blur and simply click on average right so once you click on average then right click on that and simply create clipping mask click on this and after this you have to give uh, opacity that should be 50% and then you can see the blending option right so the blending mode should be to soft light once I convert it to soft light so you here you can see here is the before and here is the after so you can see it's a little bit matching the background right so now I have to do some more thing so at first, at first I have to go to the adjustment layer button and then simply click on solid color right once I click on solid color here I have to click on something like bluish right I think that should be enough and simply click on ok and then do the same thing again like uh, in the previous step as I did so I will simply select click on opacity and give it 50% opacity and simply change the blending option to soft light again so here you can see here is the before and here is the after but I have to do something more to look it more professional right like you can see here the background is looking so sharp so I have to make it a little blurry right so I will click on the original layer again and simply do the same thing as I did it first Control plus J for duplicate and simply go to filter blur and Ga Gaussian blur once you click on Gaussian blur I think 5.0 pixels will be better for it it's uh, minimum I think yeah so I have to click on OK so once I click on OK so here you can see here is the before and here is the after so now I think the bluish color is a little dark so I have to make it more lighter right so I have to click on simply OK here is the before and here is the after and now I have to make the picture more professional so again I have to go to the adjustment layer and look for color lookup right so I will click on color lookup so once I click on color lookup here you can see the 3d alert files right so at that front side it I mean to say at the right side here is the option drop down menu right so from here you can click on 
crisp and winter crisp winter dot look right i have to click on that once i click on that so here you can see we are pretty sure and we are pretty ready with it right guys if you like this tutorial so can i like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial